the very latest in electronic gadgetry goes on display in Las Vegas starting tomorrow. CES, formerly known as the Consumer Electronics Show, is a showcase for innovation, displaying amazing new products that raise the bar on personal tech. Here to talk about what's hot at this year's show is Jason Tans, the site director at Wired. Jason, good morning. Good morning. All right, let's start first with augmented and virtual reality. VR, people know about, I think, to some degree. AR, what is it? Is this the year for it? Sure. Well, it's already been the year for it. Last year was kind of the year for it, <laughs> a, to be honest. I'm late. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, AR is, uh, it, 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 it projects a virtual world on top of the real world. So imagine if I'm looking at you right now and I see, I don't know, a lion. Uh, a lion, right, exactly. But I can still see the set behind you. So, right. it's, it's, so it, it puts a digital layer on top of the real world. And the real breakthrough for that this last year was when Apple released ARKit, which is part of its new iPhone suite. Mm. So you can hold up your phone and you can sort of see a virtual world uh, on top of the real world. Mm -hmm. uh, just most recently, Magic Leap, which is this company that's gotten a ton of press, it's been very secretive, announced that they are going to be releasing their headset in 2018. Uh, so, uh, so there's a lot of energy and excitement around AR. I do think we haven't yet, there are going to be plenty of headsets that are going to be at CES. I'm not sure that we know yet what the killer app is. You know, what are these things actually good for? Yeah. I don't think we know yet. Seeing oh. me as a lion. Uh, yeah. That sounds pretty amazing. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, LG is showing an 88-inch 8K TV. Yes. But you say, actually, the, the really exciting thing is flexible small screens. Yeah, I mean, every year or every few years, you know, there's the new, it's HD, it's 4K, now yeah. it's 8K, because as soon as these things Why do come I out, need 8K, <laughs> just out of curiosity? Right, I have no idea. Um, I want things to be less realistic, honestly, yeah, no, not more realistic these like... days. <laughs> but but, um, but what, what I do find interesting, we've started to see some prototypes of actual bendable, foldable screens. Yes. And, you know, people have been talking about this for a while, but we've actually started seeing these prototypes from companies like Lenovo. Um, you know, you can bend them around your wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, and that actually does open up some ideas about if we... If, this video is amazing. If, I know, isn't it crazy? Yeah. If screens were not just giant rectangles, heavy giant rectangles, but yes. they were things that you could turn into glasses, you know, the, uh, gl other kinds of lenses, other mm -hmm. kinds of uh, form factors, you know, what could you do with that? And I think that's a pretty interesting intellectual exercise. Uh, Jason, there's something called an always connected PC, which sounds intriguing and slightly terrifying. <laughs> well, I don't think it's any more terrifying than a phone. Basically, these are a new breed of computer that operate kind of like a phone, but with the power of a PC. So imagine a computer that uh, logs on instantly, uh, boots up instantly, I should say, that has LTE connection, okay. uh, that lasts for 20 hours, battery life, that, uh, that operates kind of like a phone, but with the power of a PC. We've just started seeing the first models of these roll out. There's some uh, partnerships between Qualcomm and Microsoft. Um, and we're going to see a few of those devices this year as well. Okay. Amazon had a huge Christmas with its virtual assistant Echo. Google has Home. Apple's expected to launch something. I mean, are these things finally gaining really broad acceptance? Oh, absolutely, they are. Um, you know, last year, I think I was on talking about, like, who needs an Internet-connected washing machine? Yeah. And this has been the big question forever. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, the existential you, question. Uh, yeah, that's right. You take a device and you stick the Internet on it because you can, but who cares? I do think that, you know, with voice commands, suddenly that does start feeling a little more interesting, right? Yep. If you're in your living room and you say, hey, Google, how much more time is, is my wash cycle going to be? That's at least right. sort of interesting. Um, but I do think that there is some resistance to all these connected devices right. over the last year with all the security breaches. Yep. And I'm curious to see if any of that works its way into CES as well. I wanted to say, hey, Google, fold the laundry. But I don't think we're going <laughs> to. Give it a couple days. Okay. Yeah. Next year, Jason Tan. Great to see you, man. Likewise. Thanks.